Look at these raw ratings, okay? Finally, finally, raw dropped to what I expected it to do weeks ago. Based on viewer patterns, the three hours show was down huge. Dave writes here, there is no explanation in television as to why that would be. I got an explanation. The show sucked for three weeks straight now. Yep. I can't believe it took this long. Raw averaged 1.77 million viewers. 0. 0.49 in 18 to 49. Show is down 7% in viewers. 20% in 18 to 49. 36% in 18 to 34 from a week ago. The show opened low and then largely stayed low. There was a bump in the second hour, 1.78 million, 1.83 million, 1.72 million. I saw everybody yesterday. Oh, well, what happened in the second hour? Nothing. This is the normal daylight savings time pattern. The second hour during this time of year almost always does better than the first hour. Except, I guess, post-WrestleMania, everybody was interested in what they were going to do. So they tuned in at the beginning of the show the last few weeks. But if you've been watching the shows, like... I mean this in the nicest way possible. If anybody in WWE is listening right now, and they may be and they probably don't care, but let me ask you a question, okay? It's a normal human being, which may be asking a lot if it happens to be Vince listening. How many times can you watch a rerun? How many times can you watch a rerun of a show that's three hours long? This is not like you you people that, oh, once a year I watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's once a year. How many times can you watch the same three-hour show over and over again? For the past three weeks, we literally just see the same things over and over and over again. The show is not very good. It's a bad show, quite frankly. Like, how many times can you watch this before you're not tuning in at the beginning to see if there's anything new? So that's my interpretation of this quite frankly i'm surprised they lasted three weeks before they fell to this level because i thought they were gonna do this number the night after mania because the third hour of that show was an atrocity and then the next week it was a bad show and it still did well i just couldn't figure anything out and now it's a third week of a bad show and now we're where i'm surprised we weren't a while ago so the point of all of this is nxt like, I would not expect a plunge. If NXT, and NXT was not a bad show, you may say it was a boring show, but it was not a bad show. Maybe it will not do a good number, but I think it's going to be right around 800, 820 again, and that, I think, is where it's going to settle in. But we'll see. I mean, if you look at these WWE numbers, rarely, rarely does show quality equate to the rating for the show. It's just these people love to watch the show, and there's a small number of people the last three weeks that tuned in in the first hour to see if there was anything new. They have now been taught otherwise. They didn't tune in early this week, and this is probably where Raw is going to settle in. 1.77 million viewers, whether it's good or whether it's bad. Well, I guess it's good in a way that, what, 1.78 million people tuned into the first hour, and there were 1.72 at the end. I guess if you... Want to look at some consistency that way. I, I guess that was good. And they'll tout the fact that they're still the number one rated show on cable. But it is what it is. It's a three-hour show without a whole lot of stars, without a whole lot of variety to it. We are seeing the same things over and over again. You know, it was a interesting twist at first to have a match end up in a DQ or end up in some sort of count out and then you bring out partners or somebody gets involved or something like that. They've been doing spins on that because they've had to. Unfortunately, they have stopped being creative with that type of stuff and they don't have a whole lot of roster to work with right now for whatever reason. They're only utilizing a small piece of it. So we see Drew and Sheamus out there for three segments. And if you're not into that the first time around, you're certainly not going to stick around for the third time around. Or if you do, you're not going to be very interested and enthralled in it. And unfortunately, they have... Not a whole lot going on right now, and it's a laborious task to watch that show. And when the first half hour is as bad as it was, I thought, this past week, you know, what can you say? Again, if you're on that side of the ledger, I can't convince you otherwise. And if you're WWE, you're not really even concerned with what most of us are saying. You're just going ahead and plowing along and doing what you're doing. But the show's not getting any better. You're not growing. There are no stars being created. And... 
that's a problem. Here, let me tell you a story, everybody. Because people keep asking, how do people watch this show for three hours? I don't get it. I get it. I'm going to tell you why. I used to go to UFC events live, and I would sit there in that press row, and I would review the shows. I would take notes because I was going to write something for the newsletter and recap it afterwards with Dave. So I would sit there, and I would have my laptop, and I'd be watching the fight, and I'd be furiously typing, and I'd be recapping everything that happened in the fight. da 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 uh, eh. Okay? Next to me, there's some other bloke, ESPN, Sports Illustrated, whatever, and this dude's sitting there during the fight, and he's sort of watching the thing, and he's messing around on his phone, and he's talking to his buddy... And then when the fight's over, he like types, uh, so-and-so won, uh, uh, 27 And then he sits around and he waits for the next fight, okay? I don't honestly believe that most of these people that are watching Raw are actually sitting there and paying attention to the show for three hours. It's a habit. They turn the show on on Monday night. They watch it, and they're on their computer. They're on their phone. Maybe they're playing a video game. Maybe they're doing whatever, but the show's on, and if there's somebody they like, they may pay attention for a little while, and then, you know, there's some stupid segment with The Miz and Morrison, and they're playing on their phone, and they're doing whatever, but that is how I believe that the vast majority of these fans actually watch a three-hour edition of Raw. They're not sitting there taking notes. They're not sitting there analyzing every segment. They just got the show on because they're a wrestling fan, and they, they enjoy what they enjoy, and the stupid stuff, they just kind of ignore it. And uh, they play on their iPad or their phone. That's That, I believe, is why Raw does the numbers that it does. It's a habit for these wrestling fans. And the show is on, but they're not necessarily watching it the way, unfortunately, I have to watch it. That's my thought. There are all those ESPN fellas that are just half paying attention to a UFC fight going on 15 feet in front of them. Nothing against ESPN. I'm just throwing out a random, some random affiliate that would be at a UFC show. It's true, though. It's amazing how many of those guys actually have their stuff written before anything even happens. Guys, sit there and you watch the whole show? Like, no, you don't. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.